Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we've got a pretty useful video for you here today. We're going to go over our online ordering system. So first things first, head over to our website mhoptical.com. Here you'll see our website. Uh, we've got a lot of good stuff going on here, always updating it. We've got a blog, check it out. So the first thing we're going to want to do is head over to the ordering tab on the top right here. Uh, we're going to want to click on enhanced 3.0 login. From there, the website's going to bring you to this screen here where it's going to prompt you to put your username and password in. If you're unfamiliar with your username and password, go ahead and give us a call and we'll set you up with one to make sure you have it. Our username and password's already in there. Just make sure you click that Remember Me tab so you never have to put it in again. From there, it's going to bring you right to the ordering page. Now, this is only for surfacing jobs. If you have a stock order that's a different form or feel free to give us a call with those kind of orders. Now on the left here, you'll have a couple different options, and we'll go over that in another minute. But first, let's go ahead and put our test job in so we can go through that with you. So the first thing to do is go ahead and put a patient name into the top here, a tray number, whatever you guys use to help track your jobs. The next is your option for lenses here. You could do uncut, trace, frame to follow if you're sending in the frame later. Mostly people use uncut for our online ordering. Next, we're going to put our frame measurements here into the program. We're going to try to put the most accurate frame measurements we can. That way, we're going to get the most accurate minimum blank size that we can achieve with our system. Next is frame mounting. Now, you're going to want to choose the appropriate frame mounting that you're going to be using for this specific job because it does matter when it comes to the lens. The system will change the lens depending on the frame being used. Next is lens selection here. Now this is where you're going to choose which type of lens you're going to choose. Is it a single vision? Is it a progressive? Is it a digital progressive bifocal? All the options are here. Today we're going to go ahead and go with a digital progressive, also known as a freeform progressive. It's automatically going to populate pair dispensed over on the right here. Now you feel free to change that if you just need a left eye or right eye, whatever you need. Feel free to choose it here. Under that, you're going to choose the material of the lens. Pretty self-explanatory here, so feel free to choose the material you're going to use for this specific job. After that, it's going to let you choose the type of progressive that you want to do. In our case, we're going to be looking for eye form, but you can see all the choices we have here. Now, if the one you're looking for isn't there, please give us a call so we can add it and make sure everything's right for you. We're choosing the I-Form 20 today. Now the 20 refers to the corridor of the reading height. Make sure you're choosing an appropriate height to corridor ratio. Next is what we call the options of the lens. This is going to tell us if it's a clear, if it's a polarized, if it's a photochromic. For most options, the clear option is going to be hard coat slash scratch coat on the top. Once you choose the option, the program is going to prompt you to put the RX into here. To quickly do so, you're going to hit enter after every selection. So as you start typing, make sure you hit enter to move to the next box. You can get pretty quick at that. For the PD, you're going to have two options. If you put a bigger PD, like a 60, it's going to populate into both eyes. So no need to separate it yourself. However, if you want to separate it, you could do so. After all that, next is the seg height. And then you're going to be brought right down to the left eye. Once you get your full RX squared away, you're going to start scrolling down the page here. Now we do have some options for some prism if you need to put that in. The next tab is for specifics if you want to add a special base curve, a special thickness. This is where you would put that into the software so we would know. Next is your extras page. This is your AR, your tint, your mirrors. I encourage everybody to explore this section here so you're familiar with the options we have. If you're to click a tint here like so, it's going to prompt you to put the percent in, the color, whatever you need. Today we're just going to add our in-house AR granite package. The last tab is just for miscellaneous extras. So like I said before, feel free to check it out. See if there's anything you're interested in there. From there, you're going to be prompted to put in special instructions. You don't have to, but if you have anything you want to reiterate, special base curve or something like that, we're just going to put do not process in there since this is our test account and we don't want to process this order. Once you're all done, I encourage everybody to check your order, make sure everything's right, then click submit. The system then is going to give you a confirmation of your current order. I encourage everybody again to review it. That way, if you do catch a mistake, you can call and stop the job and fix it before it gets put into the surfacing lab. 
You have the option to print your order here at the bottom for your records. Directly to the left is a new order tab. That way you can put multiple orders in at once pretty quickly, bringing you right back to the order entry page. Now if you're interested, over to the left here, you can click on the Job Status tab. That's going to allow you to view all the current WIP, the work in progress that you have in progress in the lab, including the current order that we just submitted. From there, you could check out the Order History tab. That's going to pull up all past orders that are done. From here, you could remake a job, redo a job, just check what the patient had for a prescription. Now, keep in mind, these aren't only online orders. Any kind of phone order will also be in this section, so if you forget a job or need to review an old job, it'll all be right here. You could check it out yourself. This way, you can efficiently figure out anything you needed to know about a specific job in the past. Thanks again, everybody, for stopping by. I hope you learned something today. Make sure you're checking back to the website pretty frequently. We update it all the time. And also make sure you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We are posting there weekly, and we have some great content being posted. So stay tuned, guys.